Okay, my brother brought over some cauliflower mushrooms for me. And we're just cleaning those off. This is what I got cleaned so far. Use a whole entire mushroom on these. And you just peel right off like that. Now you can use a butter knife or paring knife. I use my fingernails, sometimes a toothbrush. This piece, I didn't use it. I'm not going to use it because the spores are starting to go out on it. So you don't want to eat that. with my loud mouth in the background. Eventually he will be on doing uh, YouTube with me after I finish training him. To see how they peel right apart. I'll post a picture of my uh, my loud mouth. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and start these. Oh, there's a little piece. A little funny, so I'll set that aside. So all you're going to do is rip these down the center. Ooh. Okay, I see you. There's a nice size one. Nice thing about the hen of the woods and the cauliflower mushroom is nothing goes to waste. Hen of the Woods is one of my favorites. Yeah, that's a little past this time. I didn't see that one. Sorry, we'll go out and put it on a tree somewhere. Got a chance to grow up again. Oh, I'm just going to continue to do this. Turn on my pan. Get some of the moisture out of these. I'm going to turn it on. About medium low to low. So it get some of the water out. Run out of commission the last two or three weeks with sinus infection. See all the liquid in there? That's what I'm trying to cook off right now. These oysters have, contain a lot of water along with your hen of the woods, your oysters, your lion mane, um, or no, hen of the woods if I haven't mentioned that. So there's quite a few other ones that uh, contain a lot of moisture. Mainly because the only time that um, mushrooms grow is after rain. Don't worry, I'm not adding all the salt, but I do add, add salt to it. Uh, another thing I want to mention is when you're cooking your mushrooms, make sure you cook in a regular pan. Either a cast iron or stainless steel or one of these pans. The reason being is the mushrooms will go ahead and they will absorb 
the flavor of the pan when you're cooking them. That's why they taste funny. But if, I like my cast iron, so I prefer to cook in this. You don't have the flavor, you get the flavor of the mushroom. So you now you guys can really see how much water is in there. Now I'm going to put some light over here. A lot of water cooking off them. My goodness, are they good. I added some salt to help withdraw the moisture out of the mushrooms too. Oh, there's one. It's got a little dirt on it. That's alright, it won't kill us. We need to find the dirt. Alright, I went ahead and I drained all the liquid off of these mushrooms because they are done. Now I have butter. I'm going to soak up a lot of butter so I got a stick and a half. Turn my heat back on medium low. And get that going. That's how much liquid I pulled off of those. Uh, when you do your mushrooms, then you're going to have liquid that does look like that. That doesn't mean that they're dirty. I wear hoodies so I don't have to grab a pot holder. I don't really recommend that, but I always do it. I'll go ahead and cook that down. Some of these I could have cleaned a little bit better, but it is what it is at this point. Oh, salt. I use white pepper. It's a lot healthier for you. You don't need a lot of that. That go, a little bit goes a long ways. Got nutritional value. I do have Facebook group with uh, Kevin and I. I'll post the link down below. All of you are welcome to join. Go fishing. Talk about hunting. Mushrooms, camping, anything outdoor related. We have a lot of fun in that group together.